Hey up youngins, it's Grandpa here. Thank you for joining me once again. I've decided to try something a little bit faster than my usual car. Uh, we're off to Monza in the XJ Red Bull Junior What's It. Uh, there's a bit of an issue with this uh, this first straight on Monza actually. I, I lifted off as we approached the chicane completely forgetting that this was the track that uh, didn't actually have the chicane, but never mind. Anyway, we started 16th, a uh, few false starts, a uh, few people spinning up on the start. So we've made up some places straight away to 10th. Uh, now, I'm running here on zero traction control, which I normally run on the, the smaller road cars. Uh, I had no idea that it was going to be such a big issue with this particular car, but more on that later. Uh, as somebody just completely loses it. In fact, everybody loses it there. And I get overtaken by Batman. Uh, so we're still in ninth after all that shuffling. Uh, there we go, there's the, uh, the traction control issue. Uh, I think what happened there was I got clipped in the back and it just caused me to spin the, the wheels up. But never mind, it happens. Uh, down to 11th, not going to worry about that just yet. If we finish 11th, then we're still five places higher than we started. But yeah, I'm not used to uh, to driving high downforce cars at all. Uh, you've seen one of the videos probably. Uh, there's a 350 GT video and a Clio and a Unos Roadster. So this is just a baptism of fire as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we're just going to try and follow Ica, Ica as closely as we can because he's got a one second penalty. So we'll try and stay in his slipstream. Uh, unfortunately this guy's going to get us. I think that's the guy actually that uh, caused it to spin out a little. Oh, no it's not. So in this phase of the race I really was just getting used to the car. I'd, um, I'd done a few runs in, in qualifying trim. But of course I've got really no way of, uh, of comparing that to the other drivers. So this was my first attempt at, at Monza, without the chicane. Second to last now, because somebody dropped out. And we're going to try and uh, just stick in, keep our heads down. Do the old grandpa thing. And as you can see, we're catching up as we get into the first corner. The back end of the car really stepping out. Uh, really not happy with this lack of traction control, because I'm just not used to the engine power. Here's a chicane, hurry, we'll take that. So, carnage is always at that chicane, and that gives us a place. I was hoping we were going to get the uh, the Spaniard in front of us then as well, but unfortunately that didn't happen. To accelerate a little bit too fast, and these cars do have a, a phenomenal rate of acceleration. But it's a long race, 11 laps. Maybe we can do something, maybe we can't. Lovely, lovely looking track this. Uh, after driving, say, uh, Big Willow, this was a real breath of fresh air. Somebody else off in front of us. Uh, it's another Spaniard. There's just a lot of Spaniards around today. So that's us up to P11. Oh, and then we get a nice shunt and we get pushed off the track. So thanks a lot for that. Oh, yeah, and our safety rating goes down because we get shunted. Uh, sportsmanship rating, rather. So uh, that sucks too. Uh, but we'll get over it. There we go. Sportsmanship rating goes down again because we've had a bit of an issue with Batman. Who was hit by somebody else into us. He's going to come by on the inside now. And give us a shunt just to let us know that he's not happy about that. That's fine. I probably wouldn't be happy about that either. Main straight gives us lots and lots of time to get in the slipstream. We're going to try and go for the inside on the first corner so we can uh, get ahead of the, uh, the Swiss driver. And there, the back end just steps out on us. So that was just my lack of experience, that was completely on me. I thought we got the move done and dusted, but uh, no. 
So a little further on, just around this corner, I think. Uh, same thing happens again. Yep, there we go. Back end just steps out. So I'm really not getting on with this car very well, and uh, it's about time to slap on a little bit of traction control just to help us out. Just the tiniest little bit. I know we're going to lose some speed as a result of that, but uh, I think it's more important that we keep going in a straight line. Let's back up to P11, so we're making progress again, thanks to others' misfortunes. A little hefty over the sausages there. And uh, I fully... I deserve that penalty. following lap uh, I've had to set my penalty and uh, we were catching up with ninth place there uh, not based on any kind of accidents or anything we were just really on the pace then uh, El Gila gets back past us which I'm not too bothered about because I'm, I'm hoping we can pick up his slipstream a little bit and perhaps get carried along there's been no uh, real issues with oversteer since we tinkered with the traction control so that's a nice confidence boost. As you can see, El Gila is just over a second ahead of us. We've got two Spaniards ahead of us and two behind us. So, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're a bit of a Spaniard sandwich at the moment. There's probably a, a racist joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to lower myself or rise myself. I don't know. Anyway, on the, the main straight, just just ever so slightly, oh, one thousand at a time, catching up with El Gila. And uh, we, we haven't really got his, his toe as well as we want to, which is a pity, I suppose. Bit of an accident ahead, not sure who's gone off, uh, but it could give us a chance to pick up a place. It has allowed our countryman Matt MK7R uh, to drop down the order, so it might have been him having a little accident. So there we go, he's having another one. Whoa! That was tight. That was very tight, but it's all good. It is all good, and of course we pick up a place there, and we find the slipstream for El Gila. He covers us off, uh, as is his right. It doesn't want us coming back through. Let's see what we can do through here. And oh, I've just overcooked it. In fact, the car felt light there, and I, I find myself wondering if that's the slipstream effect. So, once again, we're down to 11th. I think I'm going to be saying that a, uh, a lot of times in this video. Almost halfway through the race. See, we need to stay with these guys, we need to stay in the tow. We stay in the tow, we'll get them back. I think the, the guy in 10th has actually got the tow of the guy in 9th, so uh, that's going to make our life a little bit harder. But we should eventually bunch up. Speaking of bunching up, uh, according to the, the timing on the left, again, we're taking thousands out of the 10th place driver there. So that could put us in a good position to uh, have a lunge when we get to the chicane. Maybe even sooner. Let's have a look. Bit of a dive. Hard on the brakes. Now it turns in on us. Thwacks us out of the way. Rather unceremoniously. Uh, bit of strong defensive work, but okay. That's his call. And uh, unfortunately, I got that corner a little bit wrong there. It just broke too heavily. And that undoes all the work I did on the previous straight. Never mind. It's all good. This is a, um, a tyre wear and fuel use race. But there's easily enough fuel to get us to the end. The tyres as well, they're, they're not going off fast enough to really need a, a pit stop. But it is going to mean that we're going to be on less grip later. 
which is a bit of an issue when it's me because I need all the grip I can get. The two Spaniards up ahead have just started squabbling and that's good news for us because they're going to be slowing each other down. As you can see they're trading paint and that was tight again. We were very nearly a, a victim there of that accident. But we've still got four wheels on our wagon. We've made the top ten. We're keeping our head down. Gonna try and make some more places up. It's uh, 14th place, so we've just actually lapped somebody, which is a, a surprise on lap seven. They must be having a really, really terrible time without me, and even worse than me. At least we're about to go into the chicane together, so that could be good for us. Hard on the brakes, trying to collect anybody. He loses it. And that's P9. Everybody's starting to get a little bit ragged now. I mean, we started out ragged, so, you know, we're already used to that feeling. New A78B up ahead, uh, 8 tenths of a second, and pulling away at this time. Again, we're going to have to try and reel him in. Get some tow. We've got an accent up ahead, so people are really starting to, uh, to drop off the circuit now. Just got to keep our heads. I mean, I'm, I'm not pushing particularly hard now. Just trying to get back in one piece. But I'm definitely trying to keep up with this guy ahead of us. And uh, as he attempts to keep it behind him that guy goes off so that's p8 trundling our way up the order with all the speed of a rocket powered hippo the guy up ahead i know he's uh, almost two and a half seconds ahead of us but we are catching i'm not quite sure how or why but we're definitely catching up with that guy i can only assume that we had a uh, a better run Add that last corner on onto the straight. We're on lap 9 now, and uh, we have a, a new friend behind us. El Gila has returned. Unfortunately, we've been dropped a little bit by 7th. I didn't actually try to defend there uh, on that particular lap, uh, a particular corner rather. I just took my ordinary line. And unfortunately it was the same line that Elgila was going for, so he had to back out for the moment. But you know, he's got our toe, we'll try and break it. I think it's possibly too late. But we'll see, we've got a corner coming up. Try and go back to my racing line, but you know, he's there. And I don't want to be that guy who just cuts people off for the sake of it. So I'll hold it around the apex here. Obviously we've got the, the big chicane coming up which is going to be a, a bit of a hindrance because he'll be able to dive up the inside of us um, so you get to keep in mind is that I overshoot unfortunately but at least I'm not the only one El Gila also makes a hash of it uh, could even be that he was trying to avoid myself having my little spin now we just need to try and keep him behind us for another lap and a half to cement seventh place it's it's not a win it's not a podium it's not even really a good result but you know my first time driving these around monza i'm i'm happy with it i'll take it up ahead uh we have a car suddenly come into view that we've not seen so far uh this race well perhaps we have it's another spaniard so I'm back in a Spanish sandwich. Dorillo in front of us is uh, less than three and a half seconds ahead of us and ticking down. So rather than driving defensively against El Gila, I just think I'm going to try and catch this guy up in front. You know, it looks like he's really struggling on tyres. He, he struggled to get around that corner. We're about to go on to the last lap. So I'm going to have a go at uh, making another place up. As you can see, my, my times are just 
dropping and dropping. The the rear left tyre seems to have taken a bit of a pounding. But that could be because I play on controller. I know that on controller your tyres don't last as long. Algilo there right behind us gives a bit, a bit of a shove. And then goes his way through us. A little peculiar, but there you go. So we were aiming for 6th and we've ended up in 8th. And then, miracle of miracles, both drivers in front of us bin it on the same corner. Completely separate instance. Nothing to do with us whatsoever. All of a sudden, I've got a clear road ahead of me. Uh, that uh, Bruno chap in 5th, in he's, he's 7 seconds away. Unless he has a, a massive accident, we're not catching him. Not on this last lap. Behind us, a uh, new A787B is five seconds away and dropping fast. So it may be that he's given up and he's just gone into autopilot. Or maybe his tyres are just so shot that he, he can't get the car to do what he wants. Either way, the leaders are, are bringing it home. First three have already finished. And I, I think considering the, the position we started in, which was right near the back, yeah, sixth isn't bad. I'll take it. I will take it. That is, if I can get it across the line. Not like I did with the, the UNAS. Oh, good grief. Try and be a little less embarrassing than that. There we go. We did get a penalty. Uh, but... It's fine. It's all good. Thank you for watching the race with me. And uh, like if you like. Subscribe if you want. If you don't, whatever. Bye-bye.